they will take the first place award, the title of 2019 NPC National Champion overall. I don't take things for granted because I've been through a number of things, but it just sometimes little reminders in your life that you go through that, hey, you know what, like, I'm, I'm alive, I'm breathing, I have f a function of, of my legs and my arms and my vision, and sometimes when I reflect on those things that I see that a lot of people um, don't have, I literally think of those things when I'm pushing through my last couple reps. M my legs are fried, my back is fried, and I just, I want to get off, and I just, but I think of those things, and it's like, I'm physically capable of, of doing this, and, and if I wasn't, like, I would do anything to be able to, to feel this pain. Like, I'm lucky to feel this pain. I'm Matthew Schmidt. I'm from Michigan. I've uh, been living in Texas the last seven years, and I'm a police officer. Of course, since, since a very young age, when I got into bodybuilding with the protein powder and the obsession with, you know, every single day at the gym, um, I didn't get a lot of support from, from my family. Um, my sister was always, she was always my biggest fan. Um, but my parents just thought it was just too much, you know? And uh, so anytime I ever had a health issue or any, something went wrong, it was always attributed to, to bodybuilding, um, which in reality, um, bodybuilding essentially is what I feel saved my life on a number of occasions to, to be able to, to overcome uh, a lot of these hurdles that, that I've been given pretty minimal contact with with my family when I'm when I'm doing my diet um, I've done 10 shows I never I never had a girlfriend through and out any of my shows except for for the, this last one and uh, she she was uh, between her and my sister probably the only two in my life that do support um, my uh, hobby of of bodybuilding When I first went to the hospital, um, because I was so bloated and I couldn't pass uh, any stools, um, I just I thought I was going to go in there and they were going to give me something to just flush my system. Um, I thought that was just going to be a simple, um, you know, just a simple blockage, and and they they couldn't. Nothing was. It just wasn't coming out. So that's when they stuck the NG tube down me and uh, they started sucking out everything that was in my stomach. But even after they sucked everything out, um, I, I still couldn't go. So it, was, it became more of a complication. Um, but I was there for my first day, um, a little under a week, uh, I think. And, uh, and I, had, uh, I, text, I remember texting Aaron what was going on. And uh, he thought that I was gonna be able to go ahead and get out and uh, still make it to, to, to nationals. Um, I was hopeful, but it, I, just, I felt like uh, I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to to do it this the, that year. So I got discharged, but I was still having a tremendous amount of abdominal pain, and my stomach was still very distended. And uh, I went back to work for one day, and my my gun belt didn't even fit my pants; were like falling off of me. That night. Um, the pains were just, uh, became more unbearable. And I had, I remember calling my captain and telling him, and he said, you, ju you just need to go to the hospital. It was the day, I think it was the day after my birthday, uh, November 12th, and, uh, and they rushed me to the hospital. They ran some scans and they, they noticed that my, uh, my small intestine had, had perforated. Um, so essentially there was a break in my small intestine and I was leaking inside of me. And they didn't know how long that was going on, but the amount that had leaked, um, they just said that I was lucky that I, I went in that night. 
Um, so that's when they rushed me to the, the in intensive care um, section and they had to perform an uh, emergency surgery. Of course, the surgeon was very concerned about the future of, of uh, potential ruptures as well and, and advised not to, not to compete anymore. Um, but while I was in the hospital, uh, I knew I'd be doing this show again next year. When I got discharged from the hospital, I was instructed by my surgeon uh, not to touch a weight for, for six weeks. I got discharged, yeah, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I did not lift on Thanksgiving Day, and I started lifting the day after Thanksgiving Day, so I waited two days. Um, granted, you know, when I went back, I, I mean, I'm, I'm lifting literally, uh, I didn't go over five pound dumbbells. But just to, just to, to move my body more than anything else was just a, a mental comfort. I was probably 100% within, within four months. Um, my weight was back before then, but to be able to, to, to belt up and, and without any kind of uh, fear in the back of my head, splitting open, I'd say it was about four months when I was full go. Yeah, this was one year ago. This was... 10 or 11 years ago. Yeah, it goes down pretty, pretty far. With the staples and everything, it looked terrible, um, but it healed uh, amazingly. I've always healed well. I didn't think it would heal this well, but it was, I mean, it's right in the center of down. It, mm. it worked out perfectly. Know, right? uh, initially, when I was first discharged, I just needed to get calories in me. So I'm eating, I'm eating macaroni and cheese. I'm eating all the stuff that I um, that I don't normally eat, and uh, but I, I I hated it. Um, I like I like my when I'm prepping um, the foods that I eat when I prep, even even the leanness of the meats um, are the same as when I'm in the off season. It's just larger portions. Um, it's I eat the same things. I have my staples. I have, gosh, I, I drink my uh, branch chain amino, my BCA links um, throughout the day. Uh, literally, like, I'll have four or five servings a day while I'm at work. I, I mix it with my water, and um, so my, I have to have my BCAs. Without a doubt, contributed to, to my accelerated healing rate. And uh, I love the consistency of oatmeal. It's one of my favorite meals. So I cook the oatmeal, and then for every half cup of oatmeal that I have, I mix one scoop of uh, my two favorite proteins that I mix it with is the, uh, the Way Factor one. Uh, a strawberry cheesecake and the other one is the Cinnabon that was like a treat that I was able to have throughout my entire prep every single day at least once a day. This year I started taking uh, uh, on a hundred percent consistent basis take uh, Digestime uh, twice a day my fish oil my bees my vitamin E uh, it's ZMA before I go to bed. I didn't even know what nationals huh, or USA's or a national level show was or the significance of it until I won Battle on the Bay in 2015. Because um, I remember winning the overall and then I got interviewed and uh, and I remember there were, there were there was talk like, you're, I mean USA's is, is, I think it was a week later and they're like, I mean you're ready for USA's, to, you could do well there, are you gonna cruise right into it? And, and I'm trying to play it off like, like I know what they're talking about. I had no idea what they're, like they said USA's. I, I'm thinking USA's, like Mr. USA isn't, like don't you have to be a pro to, I had no idea. This was the first, first, first one I ever won. 2006, first place men's light heavyweight. So putting it next to my most recent one was, yeah. Well, <laughs>
talk to anybody at the show who didn't have a coach uh, for their diet or for their training or, you know, that support through the whole show, you know, with, with making meals, stuff like that. Um, I did all that on my own, all of it, from the, from the grocery shopping to, to every calorie I ingested, to every second on the elliptical, to every rep that I did in the gym. Like I pushed myself through, through, through every one. And uh, the guy interviewing me asked me who I dedicate this trophy to. And I gave the, the standard, you know, everybody that supported me. I just wasn't me. Like that trophy, like every ounce of that trophy, like I deserve every bit of that. You know, I had my blood, sweat, and, and intestines went, went into that trophy. That's my trophy, and, and I, don't, I don't dedicate it to anybody but myself. I, I mean, call it selfish, but I just, I, I just I feel that I earned that um, more, than, more than anybody.